Welcome back. It is the face of our Friday show. We said we say it as it is. Uh, take it or leave it. Everyone will say it as they know it, as they believe it. Richard Baguma, Charles Romshana, and Ibrahim Semjunganda. Richard, why don't I? Uh, you present what uh, uh, people regard a very escapist, resigned perspective. Which people? Uh, no, I, I actually don't think he, Which that's the line is there. <laughs> I think he knows where the blame should go, but he wants to. I, I, now Semujo is again thinking for me. And I, this is what I, I disagree with. I, Let me I tell have, you, Semujo, I, I had an issue in your constituency. Yes. Which I have come to tackle. I told you I'm a tobacco control activist. You have a factory. In, in Chileka. In Chileka. Yes. Uh, there is a, a tobacco production factory. Should not be. Shouldn't. Certainly, they, that's what I mean. That's an immediate problem. But uh, in this country, there are factories all over. So, what should that be residential areas? You put I, I, so that I, immediate problem is a health problem. Just I we had we had the work, and uh, Mr. Kakwemeire Atanasius helped us in capturing fake drugs, fake mm. by you know the word fake F A K E, fake drugs. Uh, and he is the one who was dismissed for helping us capture fake drugs. I had a conversation with the president and presented a petition. He said, I don't know, we should go back and work. We followed it up, it couldn't. It went to the IGG, recommendation, he should go back and work. It couldn't. A resolution of parliament was passed that he should be declared a hero, he is a patriot, he should go back to work. I discussed with Kakoz, who was the then minister, he said, I'm going to have this man work, and I'm even drafting a letter. And he received orders, you do it. And you see if you are a man, you couldn't. Because, <laughs> through the National Drugs Authority, you get in fake drugs. I moved from Rukunjiri, in Mbarara, Mbrukunjiri, in Tunga, Mbarara, there was no uh, genuine facet. Uh, um, yes. Uh, we got it in a massacre. And there is a password when you are in these pharmacies. Because you see the way they run them. I don't want to go into races. Uh, uh, there is a password because I got to know of it. You raise and the other person will see if the boss is not seeing and will tell you, ah, 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 what we have is, is, is it's, clearly, it's not the other one. Now, so you see with the drugs, things are bad. And the, those mafias control the NDA. Now, it's, this also goes with the, these medicines that they supply, that the government buys. You, you saw the quality of condoms quality of condoms to the extent that the peasants who now sell condoms say that the, the one which has expired is far better is much is as better as as a, uh, uh, in other words is as good as wine which has overstayed because the, the longer the wine stays <laughs> the better <laughs> in other words therefore the, the longer the condom the, the joke has gone that far uh, uh, there were even some drugs that were here and they were not supposed to have been consumed by by people because drugs, if you take drugs, they are more lucrative than petrol, Charles, than, than fuels. Charles, why yes. do I agree now, with that? Where is the problem? Now, now, the problem, and the problem now is that the other mafia, that there is a lot of money that goes to Harris, but it must be followed. In other words, Harris is a fundraising base. It's a necessary bed. It's, it's for fundraising purposes. So money goes into programs. That's why most scandals that took place in Harris, you have politicians at the center. You remember in the case of Gavi, mm. the only convict. The only convict this lady uh, from from set house, uh, if I forget the names, Alice Kabo is the only convict. Uh, um, the, the, the Jim Wazes, the, the, the others somehow survived with it. But for her, she confessed, and by the time she confessed, they even knew the judgment, they knew the punishment, and the cash was ready. That, that's how bad it is. So it's uh, it's uh, so money is there because I was asking the MP, what is our budget? It's X. When have we fallen short of our budget? Say it is X minus, it, that's X minus one. We always have X plus. So, so therefore, what happens with the money that is said that, that is budgeted for health? And at least you should be having some impact. You shouldn't be in reverse. And, and, so, and the problem, therefore, is commitment. Now you have war. We are now having a war in South Sudan. It needs money. It is following this money. You have the politics. Every other minute, the politics is, is expanding. Being wants money, uh, now the, the Vator have come in, they will also want money. This money was, it must be good. The MPs who are going to popularize some program need money. 
this money must be good. They are, they are same Jews who, are, who want to cross from FDC to NRM. They need the money. This money must be good. <laughs> and where do you get it? Which sectors will you shoot at? You shoot at the vulnerable sectors, and that is health and education. Because it's extremely very difficult for these people to come to, to unite and move. But Charles, the Makere lecturers can. The, Charles, the, the teachers Charles, made some you attempt. See, you see, finally, you actually raise a fundamental audit question here. If I have allocated, and I'm looking at years, 13%, 9.7%, 8.4%, 9.6% 9 in subsequent years, and every year I have an audit report, I had actually one that was interesting on consumptive levels, and Ministry of Health at a halfway line could not have consumed 100% of what was allocated to them. And according to the Auditor General report, uh, that is the other year, not this exact year, the problem was not that the money wasn't available. The problem was the people that were supposed to consume the money did not have decent appetite, uh, to put it just that basic, to consume the money. Therefore, mm, there the was no intelligence officer to alert them that the money was Therefore, there. the health sector t tinkered at about 67% of budget performance at halfway line so i don't know does the money go back i need to ask semiju if a sector does not perform to a hundred percent by end of audit year is that money reflected to have gone back into other sectors or is that money consumed in supplementary budget i think what happens with the releases from finance um there will be sectors where the budget will perform 100%. Mm. There will be sectors where they will send less, and therefore the budget performance will range between 20 if you went to the ministry. Actually, the State House was uh, shooting at 111% by halfway line. So if, if you went to ministry like lands, their budget performance will not go beyond 48%. But uh, as Rum Shana said, sectors where they can easily go and, and access the money the releases will be prompt and the performance will be a hundred percent. Um I, I I don't know if, if I picked a Rome Shana well. For me I think part of the problem now is the politics. Because it's not only this I don't know whether that is part or the yeah. problem now. <laughs> yes, it, it, because the, it, first you have a culture that has also been established. While the politicians are following money to steal, the civil servants who have been bred by this culture also accessing that money. In one of the reports we have of the Auditor General, we had some organization that donated drugs to Uganda. I am told even some pharmaceuticals do it. If they have a drug that is about to expire, they will ask a country if you can consume it in three to four months, they can even give it to you free. But this petition had been sent either by UN-related agents. The officials in the Ministry of Health didn't see where they were going to make a cut. So what they did was to connive with the warehouses in Entebbe. That when they bring this drug, you keep it for two months. <laughs> there, because they will charge Uganda for, I mean, they will certainly charge you warehousing costs. Yes. So in the end, they were able to raise about 60 million shilling each, and then the drug was declared expired. So the next they time... They also put money to destroy it. Uh, of course, certainly, yes. Yeah. We actually, if you look at mm. the budget of destroying uh, expired drugs, I think last year was about 6 billion shilling mm. to correct it from health mm. centers and then take it to Nakasongra. We have an incident and it's only one in Uganda. So they probably and, and, and then you throw it in Lake Victoria. <laughs> I'll give you a quick observation. <laughs> I talked to a doctor. I talked to a doctor at the Ministry of Health, and he'll excuse me, the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Health, my friend Dr. Rukwago. He told me that if drugs expire, it is actually not a problem. It is not a problem for drugs to expire. Mm -hmm. That that is indicative of an improved health system. If we can't consume malaria drugs, it means malaria by itself is no, on a downward no. trend. What we're talking about, Peter, is a different story. I have told you sometimes they will give you drugs because uh, the manufacturers think this one is about to expire. If there are poor want to consume it, that man, you may meet the cost. That man. But also, so are joking with Uganda by the way. But also, <laughs> they, they must be very careful. They you know the price of Fancida? <laughs> this by the price of this, this drug which we get from government. I now forget it. Aunt Marelio. This Quartum. official drug. Quartum. Quartum. You know the price. It's almost mm -hmm. 20,000 shillings. When it is free, supposed to be for free. So they, they are joking with Uganda. 
<laughs> so, so they, they, I, I actually think we have we suffer almost government establishes units they are not supervised we are at the mercy of the individuals who are appointed to run um, I mean all the reports from the you know from whoever has taken trouble to look at health mm. they tell you that the health sector is one that more or less is unsupervised so you can go there and do whatever you want because just imagine the other day we are meeting in Wakiso as MPs uh, of course, Professor Gilbert of Kenya is more competent in that area. And then he was asking them, this particular drug you have brought, don't you have data on the disease incident? Don't you know what sort of diseases will be found in Wakis? Why did you bring this particular one? For them, they were just uh, responding to requisition. So if you send an requisition of, uh, say, uh, 300 million shilling, they just give you what is available in their store. Uh, in the I thought that in the requisition, I actually state, depending on the history of my clients, that uh, I need, I need, I need, oh, I, I need, know. I need that, this. That's, that's and then system. they will send you for outside. That system uh, and is uh, has its own interesting uh, challenges, but also it arose out of challenge. You see, you are allocated money. Yes. Semuju Head Hospital has this money for medicine. So please. Bring. Procure, yes. Procure. Uh, but if you say, uh, I want aspirin, and aspirin is not available, then we will give you Panado. Panado. To consume that money. So that but your you money see, is the, finished. The, the, also, the data that comes from the health units is also not as good yeah. uh -huh, yes. as it ought to be. But one, they don't have forms. One of the you things. You come with your own exercise book. Yeah, yeah, but, but you see, <laughs> it was the other time mm. we, were, we were asking uh, one of the health workers, not very junior, this level of ours, we said, are you sure you do not have money to um, cut grass around your house? Is that really a budgetary issue? What are you trying to achieve? But also for me, look at all the government housing units. Totally dilapidated. You see, and, and uh, my problem is we have spent an hour lamenting. That, you know, is for me, is my greatest problem. One of the things we have attempted to do, I keep coming back to that factor. Because for me, I think it shouldn't be there. And I think we should be getting leadership from your people. Like we get the leadership on the Kasokoso issue. I think we would move. When we decided, as simple CSOs, with some LCs, uh, we found five um, patrol units with tear gas and things. And we were told, oh, you are the ones, we are really sorry, so you can go into the community so if it was campaign. You <laughs> but you know, they said, because we thought you are, coming, you are camouflaging for Kasokos. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the reason. <laughs> what I want to agree with Semuju is that it is the politics that is one of the major factors it's not the only no but which type of politics is one because, of the major because factors. steering is not politics ah but you see really? to, to rob your people is not politics no but can but we can we divorce it why you have, have, that's also not politics. you have just said that money is needed to do political work you are the one who yeah, but, but you see, to abuse act, politics. No, the act, the act of money stealing, is needed to the abuse act of politics. Yes. Money. Mm -hmm. Because like uh, the other day when we were on, uh, on uh, the other radio talk show, your MP told you uh, from uh, Karungu that the available money for the whole district is one room, one classroom. No, one class, classroom, yes. The available money to the whole district is one classroom. So they can't do repairs, they can't even construct by more than one. This is UPE. In other words, if you check through the entire health sector, there is a problem. But this does not mean that we don't collect taxes. So, first and why the, why the politics goes why the politics goes wrong is that money that is supposed to make that is meant to cater for the lives of the people is diverted elsewhere. But even the literal that goes there, then they follow it and steal it. Can I ask? Uh, because uh, all of you at the table are fairly elite. How many of you use a public hospital? That is one. Could that be actually the problem? The detachment of the elite from public facilities, no, no. and therefore there is no pressure no, I, to ask them to work. I had this experience. My own mother-in-law had a cloth, and they took her to Marago. She was taken to Marago. The doctor couldn't admit her 
and it was getting late and you know the risks of the of the bride cloth it was getting late now when, and they were advising go back and it is a guard a guard said eh? why is the problem so you hold on the guard went in this fell with the chigan these these private guards went in and said i have got a new bed and they got a bed in other words even the beds in Maragu we have talked about you, you don't get them through the other main channels the main terminals it's also problematic three you have to line up for a theater yes the accessing a theater is based on many of the people that make decisions in this country at all governance levels care about public how many friends have you lost in Maragu? you no, because of, because yeah. because because uh, ox there is no oxygen or because power is switched off okay. you yourself by, uh -huh. by and and how many big men in, no, because i mean uh, the brigadier and other issues of this world who came there and mourned that we shouldn't have lost now so people are informed that the other place is is an open gate to grave in other words you don't attempt attempt with it you you attempt somewhere else that is why even the head of state took his father to some some clinic somewhere in the in the in the hold, hold. okay let me take this caller i know they've been waiting online for a while hello Hello. Sorry, I, I lost I them. Yes, I have taken people to Morago, especially for the most complicated ailments. Mm. I I actually still think Morago has the best infrastructure I and the expertise the mm. to deal with complicated cases. The unfortunate thing is that some of the equipment, uh. including medium equipment, they don't have. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, good evening. Good evening. Mm, just responding to, um, I would like to thank the, the panelists. At one, why don't we be direct when we're discussing national health issues? I'm responding to the gentleman seated to the Honorable, uh, next to the Honorable. He's trying to be political, yet you're discussing very important issues trying to defend the party, but I would like to thank uh, the Honorable and Rom, uh, Mr. Romoshana for being really honest about themselves and wanting the country. Thank you. We'll take the next two as well. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Um, thank you. I'm a call from Mbale. Yes, how's Mbale? You know, my, 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 my observation is the doctors and the nurses, they don't have time to be on the regional hospitals or the government hospitals. The doctor has a clinic. The nurse has a, a drug shop. So they have, they have no morale to, to, to the public, to the manainti. They don't look at them like the people whom they are supposed to serve. Their intention, they are always at their own business. There's too much business in the health sector. Still, yeah, they don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll take the next as well. Hello? Y yes, you're on. Hello? Okay. That, that the last point is not. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening. Your name, question, or comment? Uh, yes, you're right. Fine, how are you, sir? Hello. 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 One time when I was sick and I went to Makere University Hospital. Mm -hmm. Sorry, please don't wait to hear yourself on the line. Turn down the volume of your set. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go right ahead. Thank you very much. I will hold the calls. Yeah, I, 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 I was still giving you an example. The first the question the came to me. When, when, let, let Samuju close this and then you come yeah, in. So yeah, when, when my father suffered from, from a stroke, I went to Morocco Hospital. That's where you have the expertise. Mm. 
But I kept commuting between Monago and private health facilities from Kampala Hospital to Nakasero Hospital because they don't have this particular equipment. So you go and, and lift the man who is almost dying, take him to Nakasero for some checkup, then you bring results. Then they tell you for this particular one, go to Kampala Hospital. Then you. That, from the National Referral yes, Hospital? From the National Referral Hospital, and it was a weekend. It was a disaster. You know, lifting someone in, in that state. Morago suffers the neglect that almost every government institution, be it police, has suffered. And for me, I actually think, under the current arrangement uh, where his friend is in charge and the biggest business is politics, you will not. Because even money, the other day they told me the, the, the story of the Kanungu Bridge. When the president wanted to send NRM MPs to go and, and, and popularize his. Uh, uh, life presidency project. He quickly found 6.5 billion shilling distributed in and they ran around the country. But Kanung stayed without a bridge. I'm just told that they have actually went, gone through the tendering process, so they are about to start. So his mind is not where there is an emergency. His mind is where he has to solve a political issue. And there he will not sleep. There will be meetings for morning with the NRM youth, with the uh, MPs, with the district chairpersons until the following day. He has lost the, the, the supervision, he has lost the enthusiasm with which he came with when he got into power. He wanted to fix things, now he's just fixing politics. And the, the earlier we get rid of him, you only pray that you don't get someone who wants to do the same thing he's doing, because that's also possible. You may get him off, so we get another one person. Uh, you don't have to, you continue to aspire. We, we don't uh, probably probably yes, Richard. To get someone. You see, unless we become frank and honest with, your, with ourselves. That, that is what the viewer was that, telling you. Yes, that, that, we are, are that we are dealing with a political problem. That we have spent an hour of lamentation. That in that hour, we have not had any concrete suggestion on how to deal with this. We shall come back here on Friday or on Thursday and we shall be lamenting. And for me, that's sad. And if that is dishonest, so be it. The second thing is that for you to have a politician who is not prioritizing politics, I think that one is not a politician. That is what the politicians are going to do. Prioritize politics. But Obama is and that is where, where uh, uh, Charles, Obama Charles, please, kindly help me. The second thing I'm telling you, for us to sit here and try to be dishonest with ourselves, that we have and that's why I tell you, I'm a misogynist. Because this gentleman does not hide or pretend. Richard. He is about retaining the presidency. Richard, he invests, you can retain he the invests presidency. in that. By the way, the shortcut. He, 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 he takes six billion to give to MPs. And you see, no, he, they don't deny that. Richard, they are very you. open about that. So it is I like totally, there, is a, there is no revelation. I totally not object I, to the perspective that assumes that to retain power and do politics you have to do the weird things you can give people health care and you can p give people decent education you can ensure infrastructure and thank then you. you're doing thank politics. you we are saying what we are doing the person is the absurd had mm. for three decades has been playing a certain game in power retention it's called why theater we, of the absurd why do we wake up mm -hmm. and think that the now that one is going to change what gives us that thing now you, you I, agree with you. That? I agree with so, you i agree with you that it honest, is actually an abdication of the are, citizenry unless, and to we are honest with ourselves and I, for I, those I, ones I, who point out and you say they are dishonest you know now, now when you go around <laughs> they, they are mushrooming churches people say come for the miracle there is miracle center there very miracle centers and it's about what them jay those food those who are sick come and they, 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 there, is now, there is now migration that area. We have not less than around 0.3 million of a million AIDS, a, HIV patients. The President of the United States of America comes here, Bush, and gives us money, the presidential initiative mm. on HIV. As soon as we run out of that money, we built a hospital for HIV drugs in Marago. They call it, it's called Okulembek. Now, I want you to go and study the quality chemicals. What are the dynamics about quality chemicals and how do they come there and what is the drug that is being manufactured? Actually, you go and find out when it was Cipra uh, 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 created by United by World Health Organization. Uh, uh, the, 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 you need to go and study all those dynamics. <coughs> you know what it is that from the sick you shall Just. make wealth.
Charles, I'm going to ask a question across the table. <laughs> How do we fix the health system of this it's, country? It, Starting with Charles and backwards this because side. I will tell How would you I will fix tell the you all, and then the, the, the members will come. Because if you have diagonalized that the fellows, uh, you, know, you know beasts, a person who has no human feeling, you steal from the sick, you get, and you are, you are happy about it. You even go and tell your constituents that you say, I steal from them and I bring to you. The, the, and you don't, they are not even a project. That person is a beast. So what do you do with him? You can't romance. You can't, because the churches give him platform. When they go to churches, the bishops, they, 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 they are actually can, called canons, their wives, all of them, standard canons. So, so the only method is to kill them. Kill them. Now what is and, 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 that, and I know that method. Please run by disclaimer. We, 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 that we, we, method we, we, won't work. What, okay, let's pray for them. We we'll pray for them to die quickly, Richard. <laughs> because what are you going to do? <laughs> we must look inside ourselves. We must tackle the elite and intellectual discourse. You supply fake drugs. Uh, that condoms. is exhibited at every moment. And for me, we must stop the culture of lamentation. It's not going to take us anywhere. Ibra, yes. what would you do? We because. Both Richard and Charles end up praying to a No, goal. no, I haven't prayed. Uh, because I've given you one option. We mobilize consciousness and sweep them out. It's a, a, a revolution. Because what else are you going to do? Or else we stay with... Actually, it's going to... Deter as the war intensifies, the, the, even the literary house is not going to be there. Because they are taking it. I, I'll, I'll just give you an example. I went to visit Namugongo, secondary school. Mm. Um, Dr. Jesse Muyengo came from... Uh, Nagarama. Nagarama. He arrived when they are registering, I think about 2% first grade. They now have 100% first grade. We must change the leadership. We ca it can no longer take us in. Fire Moyes. But to who? To your message? Really? It doesn't have to be this. So you, you mean. Uh, no, thank you very much. You thank you very much, gentlemen. Be the pleasure you hosting you here group? this evening. Oh. I also think that, one, this country needs a health system, not just health centers. We lack that. We need to get all these elite off the national facilities and go into health insurance where they pay their money and use health facilities so that we retain fewer people on national free. But, uh, facilities. But, but Peter, 65% of our health services are But even that one, that one, you know, you remember they are in the household field. level. You look at the UDHS, 45% of household expenditure is on health. No, we, we certainly are already paying. It's just that the way we are paying, again, we are dishonest about it. That also is a problem. What are we paying for? But you remember, you are that, paying that, for that, fake that, drugs, that, you are paying for doctors even that. Even that, that, that here is one scheme, remember how they are arranging to steal just don't take me there. Just don't take me there. I've been there. I've studied what <laughs> yes, happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know it. Yes, they. Who are they? This is they. We know who they are. They are. The problem is, <laughs> unfortunately, none of them. Okay, they are called the hyenas. To draw the curtains and say it is just Romshana, it is Richard Wabuma, it is me. You sit with them you ask and sit with them. You ask James Ogora. Ogora knows them. Right, viewers, catch you next Friday on the face of